What's up everybody? They'll be making these clears and it's a bit of a complex pastry because it requires time, effort, and some patience. Uh, apart from that, you'll be needing a few tools and some ingredients. I'll walk you through step by step and break it down so you'll have perfect results. First up, I'll start with the tools. You'll be needing a kitchen aid with a whisk attachment. You can also do this by hand with a whisk. You'll be needing a heating element with a pot, a rubber spatula, a wooden spoon, a pastry bag with a star tip. You'll also be needing a baking pan with either parchment or silicone lining and also a cooling rack. I'll start by making the pot and shoe, which is the puff. I'll start by adding my water, milk, and unsalted butter to the pot. And my pot is set on medium, and I'll let this melt. So as you can see, my butter has melted. So I'll add in now my salt and sugar. And I'll stir this around. And you want this to come to a simmer, almost to a boil, before I add my flour. So as you can see, it's almost to a simmer. Now I'll add in my flour. And I'll work this around. This takes no time at all. almost to the texture of cookie batter and that's what you're looking for and that's pretty much it you got all the moisture out of there and it's become one dough so now I'll show you the next step so now I'll add my dough to the mixer and you'll whisk this on low for about 30 seconds before you add your eggs. So after about 30 seconds, I'll start by adding my eggs one at a time. And you can turn this up one more notch. And you keep adding your eggs. As soon as one is incorporated, you add another. This is how your dough should look after you've incorporated all of your eggs. See, nice and smooth, and this is what you're looking for. Now I'll show you the next step. So next up, I'll show you a neat little trick. I'll take some plastic wrap, I'll lay it on the counter. I'll take some of my pate shoe dough. Next, I'll cut this, cover that, I'll go one time over, once again. And this is a neat little trick for filling your pastry bag. You can poke a hole right here with a knife and just pop it in so it's easy to clean up after you're done. So next up, we'll pipe the potty shoe. So what I'll do, just poke here with a knife. I'll pop it in my pastry bag and just press gently and it just comes through. So this is a closer look. You can see the separation and I'll do a roll to show you. You want to be firm but gentle. And an extra tip too as well is taking some egg wash and brushing it on your dough before you put it in the oven. So now that I'm finished piping my 24 eclairs, I'll pop this in a 400 degrees oven for about 25 minutes and then I'll show you the results. So now I'll pull my shells out of the oven. One important tip is to take a toothpick and poke the bottom so you can get all the steam out and then you'll place it on a rack like so. Next up we'll be making the pastry cream and this is to fill your eclairs. So I'll start by adding my milk. And sugar. And I'll use my rubber spatula just to spin that around and I'll bring this to a simmer. So while I wait for my milk and sugar to come to a simmer, I'll add 
three or more of my ingredients together, I'll add my cornstarch and my custard powder to my egg yolks. And I'll use a fork to bring this together. I'll add my vanilla in. Make sure you get this well incorporated. As you can see, nice and smooth. So now that my milk and sugar is almost to a simmer, I'll transfer a little bit to my eggs. And this is just to temper my eggs so it doesn't curdle. This is bringing, so this is bringing my eggs up to temp. I'll add a little bit more. Now I'll add the entire mixture to my pot. Now we'll work this around. And you let this go a little bit more until it thickens, on almost like the texture of yogurt. When almost at that texture you'll add in your butter and this is softened butter and this will help your pastry cream be extra luscious and now you can turn off your burner you can transfer your pastry cream and then you can sieve it through a strainer and this will ensure all of the bits that you don't want will be captured and you'll have an extra smooth pastry cream. Now you can set this in the refrigerator with a plastic wrap to cover the top of it so it chills. So before you fill your shells, you'll poke some holes in the bottom and you can take your pastry tip and you can do, and just create nice little holes again. Now you have holes to fill your pastry cream in. The next step will be making our ganache. And this is to top your eclairs. So I'll take a cup of heavy cream, add it to the pot, and I'll bring this to a simmer. And then I'll add in my chocolate chips. So now you can see it's at a simmer. So what I'll do, I'll add my chocolate in. And I'll turn the pot off. And I'll let it sit, and then I'll show you what I'll do next. So after it's sat for about a minute, I'll just work this in. And it'll completely become a silky, beautiful ganache. Now you can see the chocolate has melted, and it's become wonderfully and silky. And this is what you're looking for, and it has a nice gloss. So on to the next step. So this will be your final step. You have all of your shells cooled, and you've poked the holes in the bottom. You have your ganache, and you also have your pastry cream. And now you will fill these with your pastry cream. So you'll grab your shell, you fill these all the way up. Mom, and you can set this upside down. So after you have filled your shells with your pastry cream, you can top these either with the ganache that is at room temperature. Create a nice, beautiful top. Or you also can chill your ganache in a refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And when it's chilled, you can whip it with a whisk or you can add it into your kitchen aid and whip it with the whisk attachment for about one minute. And this is what you get. You get a wonderful, beautiful ganache. You can top it like that as well. There are two ways to do this. And I'll show you when I'm finished how they look. So these are the two types of eclairs. One with the whipped ganache and one with just the regular ganache. Beautiful and amazing. So I'll cut one so you can see the center of it. 
and now you can see it's filled beautifully. So thank you for watching. Please make this delicious eclair recipe. I know it takes a little bit of time, but I promise you, you will enjoy it and you'll make it time and time again. Again, thank you for watching. Please give my videos a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop a comment in the bottom and please subscribe. And again, thank you. Now I'll try one of these. Ooh, pastry cream.